fracking. Is the new way of drilling for oil dangerous for our future? For people living in Texas and Oklahoma, this has been a pretty frequent occurrence in recent times. Earthquake! From only one earthquake in 2007 in the state of Oklahoma, USA, they now have over 1,000 quakes a year. And it seems to be all because of fracking. The US Geological Survey analyzed earthquakes in the Los Angeles area from 1915 to 1930. And guess what they found? We thought that earthquakes were a natural phenomena. But when we compared how many oil wells were drilled to the number of earthquakes, we realized it was connected. Fracking or hydraulic fracturing or fracturing rocks using high water pressure is a new way of removing oil from sedimentary rocks and shale. Earlier, vertical drilling, fracking, vertical, then horizontal. Fresh water along with sand and dangerous chemicals are pumped with high pressure to fracture these rocks. As the rocks crack, they release oil and gas hidden inside them which is then pumped back up. For every barrel of shale oil extracted in this manner, 12 to 50 barrels of chemical waste water is produced. This is then dumped 7 to 13,000 feet below the earth's surface into what is known as the Arbuckle Zone. But just about there, the earth's tectonic plates are forever trying to shift but are held together by friction. Just as you would not slip on a rough surface, the sharper edges hold the earth's plates together. But once water flows around the edges, it becomes like a wet bathroom floor, resulting in an earthquake. And as more water is dumped down there, the friction reduces further, resulting in larger intensity quakes. The moment magnitude scale measures earthquakes when an earthquake of 4.0 is 32 times worse than an earthquake of 3.0, and a quake of 5 would be 1000 times worse than a quake of 3. Most countries use the Richter scale to measure earthquakes. But that's not all. Some of the toxic chemicals also get pumped up along with the oil and gas and escape into the atmosphere, causing more damage to the environment. Near fracking sites, wastewater containing methane gas seems to have got mixed up with freshwater reservoirs, creating fires in unlikely places. Because of fracking, the US now has enough oil of its own and will sell their extra oil to other countries where earlier they were buying oil. See Bisbo's story, why oil prices remain low. The price of oil may have fallen because of fracking, but the people who live near drilling zones pay a heavy price too. If you liked this video, share it with your Facebook friends and like the Bisbo page and subscribe to Bisbo's channel on YouTube so you will get to know whenever Bisbo posts a new story. Bye!